So, what is going on, guys? Today, we're going to be taking a look at the SH Figuarts Super Saiyan Trunks, the boy from the future. And this is the re-release or the reissue version of it, if I'm not mistaken. This is the new version of Future Trunks. I've taken a look at them prior. The video's gone. Oh, well. We're going to take another look at them here. And as far as it goes, Trunks, there it is. Pictures, stuff like that. I do like the nice teal on the box. Very nice looking. He's clearly been opened. That strap shouldn't be there like that. And I think his head's too far tilted. But other than that, I mean, pretty good. It has the new quality sticker. I'm pretty sure there is the difference. Like I said, this is the reissue. The original one has a bunch of issues. I don't think mine's the original. It doesn't seem to have a lot of the issues. But that is the box. So let's get him out of the box and look at the tray. And in the tray for trunks, you get a whole lot. Yeah, he actually does come with a bunch of stuff. Three face plates for the Super Saiyan head, a whole extra head sculpt, extra hair parts, and then six other types of hands, and of course his sword. And here we have Trunks out of the box, and yeah, I love Trunks. Trunks is one of my favorite Dragon Ball characters easily, and he is possibly the reason for the SH figure arts problem I have. Um, he's the third one I got, I believe. I believe it's either him or any of the Naruto figures i think i might have got the naruto figures just before him but a trunks was the real trunks ended up being one of my favorite characters so you better believe that i uh i went a little insane after i got him but this is a really good version of him the original one has a bunch of issues which i'm going to point out apparently this down here could be backwards lots of paint flaking which has already kind of happened a little bit not much though i think that's my own fault on these kind of raised up sections the arms apparently came off quite easy on the original mine don't seem to come off i've at least not had them come off but one problem that apparently they fixed is the the uh, whole sword thing back here yeah they didn't fix that on my copy i couldn't get it to go in and when i tried to get it in there the uh, little peg here yeah it's a little worn down now i think i'd rather it worn down so it can come off easy but this is like the one accessory that's just on trunks no matter what practically you know just, I just put that there. We had to put that there. We'll talk about it more when we get to the accessories, but as far as it goes out of the box, he does come with the Super Saiyan head. This figure is mostly for the Super Saiyan variation of Trunks. And this is the one you get. You get the one with the kind of down front bang type sections. You know what I'm saying? The bangs are like that. He then has the opposite ones, which are the more powered up looking ones. And I mean, there's a lot of nice things. I do like the jacket. The jacket is kind of like weird though it's sculpted around it goes on but if you move the jacket oh dear god you get the whole inner workings look at that the entire inner workings of the trunks just because the jacket moves a little bit which is a bit of a shame there is an upcoming third party one though if i'm not mistaken or two third party ones i think there's also one without the jacket coming out i don't really care for the third party i know they're cheaper apparently not but well, it, i mean this it does come a lot more than this but i do like this one a lot i mean as far as it goes detailing gray pants purple blue jacket very good face the boots one of the weird aspects of trunks you always know or at least i always notice is his boots he really has different boots comparatively to everybody else and they're very very well done with this nice light brown with the dark brown paint and of course he has the white soles which is very good I mean, he just looks really good in his basic form. But, of course, he has, like, 90 accessories to take a look at. First and foremost, though, the sword. we got to take a look at this. This is Trunks. As much as in the later Cell Saga, he doesn't have it. But, hey, at least in Super, he has it. Except his design, the cool thing about him. The sword looks like this. It's picked out in brown here with some nice silver and some very nice light blue. The sword is in the sheath. And as I mentioned, if you want to put this on him, it really isn't that difficult. You just put it over his right shoulder and then put it under the jacket like that. And then once you do that, it goes and it pegs in to the back like so. And ta-da! The super version actually has like a peg for it, which I wish this one had because it would have been a lot better. But the sword itself is picked out in a nice silver. 
and the sword is painted, like, everything on it, including the handle. Like, the actual base color sword, if you can see it, is, like, this black here. And it's because of the little pommel. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, is a pommel. It comes off to go into the hand, which is a very nice way to go about that. And, I mean, it does look quite good. Like, there's a look at that shine. It looks great. And, again, very nice that it just slots in. The other character I have that owns, uh, has a sword is Sasuke, and, well, unfortunately, the Naruto Sasuke doesn't actually let you do that. He just has extra pieces, because I guess the sword's so thin. But with trunks here, you can actually take it out and remove it. So that is the main one, that being the sword. So let's take a look at the hands next, because, oh boy, we got a lot of hands to take a look at. Oh, dear God. First up, we got this hand, which is, like, the stop, or... If I'm not mistaken, this is the pose that he strikes when he blows Frieza into a million pieces. That I'm thinking. I didn't show the fists. Why do I show the fists? I don't know why. The next one up is the Key Blast hand, which looks also quite very good. I mean, technically the last one in this one are Key Blast hands in a way. It looks good, though, nonetheless. No real issues with it. The Open Grip hand, which is good. You can actually hold the sword sheath in the open hand, so that's very good. This is probably, I think this is the actual one I leave on him usually, because I usually have him with the sword going forward. And the next one here is this one, which is his sword holding hand, obviously. Where is it? He actually comes with another hand with a hole in it, which I'm going to use the left for, because why not? You just remove it. He actually has some pretty good hands to remove, I think. I, I thought that a couple times, but hey. His don't seem to be the ones that are easily stress marked at the top, and they don't seem like they're going to come off too, hard, too easy. So hopefully they're good. But as far as it goes with the open hands, to get the sword out here to display them, yes, we actually have to talk about the hands instead of just showing them for 0.2 seconds for once. Remove it. You can take the pommel off, like I said, and you just slide the sword down. Put that back on, and there you go. Now he has a sword. His hand fell off. <laughs> hand fell off. The sheath fell off. The sheath is really annoying. It's not as bad as when I initially got it, because I got it worn down so much that it actually stays on, and if it does fall out, it isn't that hard to get back on, and there it goes. Just as I say it. Anyway, once you have the sword in the hand, it looks pretty solid. And like I said, so this one here, they are two different hands, as weird as that is. The difference is this one has a little bit more of an open grip than this one. They both are able to hold the sword, but the one here on the right is the one that can go all the way up to the top, whereas if you were to take the left hand, which is a little bit harder to do because I have to take the sheath into account and everything here, there is enough room to get it all worked in. There we go. I will say the hands are sculpted on an angle at the ball joint for some reason, so they do like to pop off quite easy, which is a tad bit unfortunate. But you can take that, and there you go. He has it with two hands. Pretty simple stuff, honestly. Looks pretty good, though. Anyway, that is the hands for trunks, so let's now take a look at the head accessories for trunks, where there is actually a whole lot of head accessories. I'm just going to put the hands over there and have the fists just sitting in the background. First up, we have the main face here, which looks pretty good. I mean, you can't really see it because these are in the way. Now, that's actually a perfect segue in a way, so we can actually use his other hair part. So like I said, you have these ones, which are kind of more calm, relaxed looking for some reason. He's super sane. I don't think he would be calm and relaxed. And these ones here, I think are the actual ones he does have because, you know, they're up all the way. So it looks good. Again, the sword is an issue for me. Just, I've created the problem myself, but it was also an issue to begin with. So it's just kind of a 
double-edged sword, if you would. But as far as it goes, you can see the face there. I mean, it's a typical Dragon Ball face, but he's Super Saiyan. He looks really, really mad. Anyway, he does have three other Super Saiyan faces. Thought we have Trunks looking to the right because finally, finally, someone looking to the right. I, I still don't get these whole directional eye faces. It's the same as this, except his eyes are ever so slightly pointed the other way. Like, that, that is literally the difference. That's the only thing. It's the exact same face otherwise, which is... Just, it's really strange. Teeth grit. Come on now. Classic. And the other face, which is the yelling face. You can't have Super Saiyan without the yell. We know this. But obviously, that's not all for head accessories. Now, as far as it goes, not many of the figures I own actually have swappable head sculpts that are different. There's been... A couple I review that do have different heads instead of faces, but in the case of Trunks, he just outright comes with a second head, that being his base form head, which is pretty simple to swap, although it's going to be a little pointy this time. There we go. Just like that. There goes the sword. I'm going to fix the sword afterwards. Anyway, the head just comes off like that, but there is one issue that I have to ask. How's Bandai's gold plastic? Oh, no. Yeah, he has a gold plastic peg. His head is a ball joint gold plastic, and that goes for the inside as well of both heads. Why are they gold? Why are the head things gold? It scares me. Just I, I'm going to guess GPS is still a uh, thing, no matter where you go, no, no matter where, because it's gold plastic, it's never that good. I know they've improved it and everything like that, but I still don't trust it. There it goes, Trunks. He just almost knocked the camera over, but I caught him. Anyway, as far as it goes, you get his nice purple hair head. The right hair. I don't care. I don't know why in Super they made it blue. I I, I don't know. Is it just to different, differentiate it from current Trunks? Or like what? My dog's barking. Someone's outside. Anyway, but why did they change it? Why did they do it? And the thing is, with this head, they don't give you any other face plates. You can swap the head, the faces. You can. Like, there it is. Just just like regular Super Saiyan trunks. And it's the exact same face mold. So you can use the other ones, except you're going to have weird eyebrows. That's all. That's, that's your difference. And as you can see, the purple hair is painted. It's not sculpted purple. But it makes no sense to just include that when they give us the useless side eye face instead of giving us, like, a teeth grit or a yell face for this head. It would have made more sense to give us something for this head instead of, you know, the most pointless face of them all. It's not like they gave him, like, a goofy face or anything. They just gave him side eye, which, again, I hate the side eye face. It's one of those ones that's like, oh, here's this extra face you're never going to use. Either way, that is all of the accessories for Trunks, so let's just get into the articulation here, which is pretty good. As far as it goes, you've got a ball joint in the head, as you've seen. The neck joint works forward and back, trying to avoid the sword, because it'll come off. Outward, double elbow, a swivel, a ball joint at the wrist, along with some rotation, everything like that. You do have the ab crunch, everything there, swivel forward, back, outward is a little bit more restrictive than I would like, and it's because of how the pants are weird. I don't get this whole thing going on there. You then have a double knee, which is quite good, a rotation, a nice joint there, and then a toe bend. So, yeah, I mean, he's pretty articulate. What do you expect? It's a figure art. You know he's going to be articulate. That's just how figure arts are. But as far as it goes, that's really it for Trunks. So let's just get into my final thoughts on him here. And as far as it goes with Trunks, yeah, he's good. I like Trunks. He's he's really, really nice. And he goes on sale a little bit. Like I said, there's two iterations of this version. There's also the old one. This version, which I, is a 2.0 or 3.0? I'm not sure. I'm going to say 2. But as far as it goes with it, the old one does have issues. Apparently, the QC is just an absolute nightmare on it. This one I have is not a nightmare. It's completely fine other than the sword, which I think is my fault anyway. But as far as it goes with it, I mean, everything about it's good. If you like Trunks, you're going to like this figure. The only thing that's not good about it, it's expensive. 
Of course, it comes with a lot of accessories, so it does kind of make up for it, but it is in the higher price point range. It's about $100 Canadian, which is, yeah, a lot. He's in the same tier as, like, Piccolo and, like, Dr. Jero and all of them and, like, Cell. He's a little bit higher, but he does come with a lot more stuff than, like, a basic standard release would, even though, you know, some standard... Like, I, I don't get figure its whole thing. Like, sometimes they're, like... Here's this price point, like, Naruto was cheap, but Naruto comes with, like, just as much, if not more, than Trunks here. I still have not taken a relook at the figure arts Naruto. But it's so weird to me, but I feel like that's also just figure arts has the whole thing that the main character always gets a base release and everything after that's expensive. That's not a joke, by the way. I've looked at it. Luffy, Tanjiro. I don't know how much Yuji was, but everyone else um, that I've seen... Goku, everything, it's just, they're all cheap for some reason. But, as far as it goes, I mean, price point's an issue. This thing's still an issue to me, like I said. It might not be for you, but I think he's good. I think he's really good. I think he's worth the pickup, honestly, especially if you like Trunks. Why wouldn't you get him? He's, like, the perfect iteration of it. The old one does have some differences, and like I said, there's also third-party ones coming out. I believe it's Demonical Fit. I'm not sure the other third parties, like I said, I don't really care for them. The, so the Goku and Gohan pack I reviewed, apparently I was completely dead wrong on the price of that pack. That pack's like 150 US or something like that on the aftermarket, because if you miss the pre-orders, it's over. You have to get the aftermarket. So I didn't even do bad, because it was, like I said, US. It was came up to like 200 and some Canadian. I was like, it was really close to what I paid for the actual one. So I'm good. I'm, I'm perfectly good. But Trunks here, if you don't like this one, look into the third-party ones. They have a lot more. One of them, I believe, you can take off the jacket and everything. It's all just one figure. It has effect parts. It does look really, really cool. But I just don't want to pay another hundred and some dollars for Trunks. This version of Trunks, anyway. I, the Super Trunks I would do because it's a different design. That's my whole philosophy. I don't want to pay money for the same thing over and over again. As much as I own four Gokus. Technically, they're different. Technically, not really. They're basically all the same figure. But that's really it for this review. I'm going to give him a nice 4.5. It's just the sheath. That's it. Everything else, if you can get around that, you're perfectly well and good. The QC on mine's perfectly fine, so I'm going to give him a relatively high rating. Mine doesn't have any issues. But that's all for this review. This has been a review of SH Figure Arts, Future Trunks, The Boy from the Future. This has been Ailtot Delete signing out.